And you are certain it will hold? We wouldn't be standing here if I wasn't. You two focus on the creature. I will worry about the collar. Haven't really seen Blade since he got back from the sewer. Carrying Hunter home on his back. He's still outside. Being extra broody. Maybe you should talk with him. Um... Good idea. I'll go with you if you like. Um... All I'm saying is the tower's lost. We're no closer to breaking through Slimerama's Sanctum Shield, and our exalted Chosen One just... woke up and is listening to our every word. Uh, it's great to see you on your feet again, boss. You walked away and Venom did not? Impressive. It always leaves a bad taste in my mouth when I end a mission with an allied down. Glad to see it wasn't the permanent kind of down. It makes two of us. Blade really kept his cool down there. Fun vampire crypt puns aside, I'll tell you, Hunter, he's an asset. I owe him my life. Yeah, he gets five stars from me. And ass-kicking abilities aside, he's pretty on point with his movie references. Outside the mission stuff, I gotta say, I had my doubts about Blade. The brooding vibe, the sunglasses indoors, his lack of preference between a Chicago style versus New York, which is just plain wrong. But the more I see him in action, the more I think he might be an okay dude. You have just never seen his dark side. It is easy to see the good in people when we have not seen the bad. As a rule, I try not to assume the absolute worst about my teammates. And neither should you. Anyway, I wanted to ask how you were and it turned into a full-blown cooler talk. Better get back to work before the boss notices. Catch you later. Stay out of trouble. Glad to see you back on your feet again. Strange and I tried to stop by for a little house call while you were out, but turns out your dog is part flamethrower. She is very protective. That's one word for it. Listen, I know you're probably hearing all sorts of comments after your last tangle with Venom. For what it's worth, we both just wanted to say that we don't think you should get within 50 light years of that thing until we sort out what the hell's going on between you two. Now you sound like Caretaker. No, if I was Caretaker, I would work in some life lesson about fighting a four-headed Wendigo while shooting fire from my eyes. I'm just stating the facts. Which are? That you and this monster don't mix very well. Seeing as how he seems to have swallowed half the city, I think we're gonna have to do something about that if we're gonna stop Lilith and save the world. You have a point. Look, Strange and I have been studying pieces of that symbiote ever since this nightmare began. Problem is, the further they get from the source, the more their molecular structure changes, which basically renders them useless to us. In zombie movie terms, I need a sample from Patient Zero. The old slime ball himself. Venom. Or Eddie, if you talk to Peter. Either way, that's our guy. We get a sample from him, somehow maintain its molecular integrity long enough for Strange and I to poke around at it, and, well, we're in business. Let me guess, you have a new gadget in mind for the task. Gadget? No, not a gadget. Plans for a groundbreaking device to solve this insurmountable problem and keep you from exploding next time you fight the indestructible monster? You betcha. 
I like where this is going. Good. Calling it my symbiote sampler for now. Hey, I ran out of acronyms, okay? Stage one in stopping our symbiote nightmare once and for all. Meet me over by ye old anvil over there and we can get started. Oh, you're not afraid of needles, right? Needles? Forget I asked. Thanks, Hunter. I'm sure I'm not the first person to inquire on this fine morning, but seeing as how you did explode in what I might describe as a most spectacular fashion, any side effects I should know about? Headache? Blurred vision? The urge to murder us all? Oh, I am feeling the urge to murder now. You do? I need to alert caretaker. We should be monitoring you. Wait a moment. You're putting me on, aren't you? Well, I am the hunter, after all. Ha! <laughs> of course you are. Who would you be without your ever-charming urge to kill? But, in all seriousness, I hope you feel comfortable enough to disclose any medical conditions you may be experiencing now. We can't, in good conscience, send you back into battle against Hydra if you're not in tip-top condition. My collar. I am afraid the explosion cracked it. Cracked? How big is this crack? Minor. Almost undetectable. Hmm, a small fissure should not be a problem. Your collar is made of tough stuff. Almost as tough as you. But if you see it expanding even a millimeter, you must, and I mean must, come to me immediately. Absolutely. You have my word, Doctor. Is there anything else I can help you with? Any burning philosophical questions about the universe you need answering? Do you really think we will be able to halt the prophecy? Halt? No. Unfortunately not. Prophecies are stubborn things. So, you do not believe I can change mine? Anything we do would be like dropping a rock in a stream. We might stop it or divert it for a bit, but the relief would only be temporary. This prophecy will come true, one way or another. How do you do it? Do what? Balance both light and dark magic without becoming overwhelmed with one or the other. Yes, I am rather well-rounded in my magical gifts, aren't I? I suppose I see magic as a tool. I use magic, but it doesn't use me. Just remember, you don't need to go pure dark or pure light unless you want to. There is room for everyone's own unique path. Are you worried about what is happening to the Sanctum? I try to keep those thoughts roped away from my own sanity. I am definitely afraid of what Lilith is doing in there. I don't think she hijacked my home just so she could rifle through my sock drawers. I should take my leave. There is much to do. Yes, yes there is. Just don't push yourself too hard. You are, after all, still part human. Oh, you are gonna love this. Uh, give me a sec. Okay, what's up? What can I say, except you're welcome? I just...
just hope you brought me something interesting. It's all in the wrist, really. Ready when you are, Hunter. with smithing? Perhaps you should put your suit on for this. Where do you think I got the suit, Doc? Good day, Hunter. Caretaker, are you all right? That's what I wanted to ask you. I know you're on your feet and seem fine after that explosion with Venom, but I know all too well from experience that sometimes the worst injuries are not visible to the naked eye. So, please tell me, Hunter, are you actually as fine as you seem this morning, or should I be worried? No, caretaker, I am not. My collar. The explosion. It cracked it. Cracked? Yes. I feared this would happen. Venom was filled with your mother's power. It would be naive to think it couldn't fracture even our best defenses against her. Ugh. At least cracked doesn't mean broken. Not yet, at least. You will have to work doubly hard to rein in your darkness. Your actions and words mean more than ever now. Make sure you use them with integrity. I understand. Yeah, well, I guess I should stop fussing over you and go see what horrors Hydra has in store for us today. As you were, Hunter. Hydra's goons are getting a little too comfortable for my liking. I think it's time you took them down a notch. Consider it done. attempt at concealment.
Change of plans. Targeting systems active. You're supposed to be fighting on our level here. for hand for now. Weak, even for Hydra. their lesson, but we all know that's wishful thinking.
here to gloat, Mother? Quite the opposite. I was concerned. I could not sense you after... Your pet monster nearly destroyed me? An unintended and unforeseen consequence of your continued assault against me. The mystical energies within our blood do not always mix well with off-worlders. But neither do the wards of your pretentious sorcerer. The Venom creature is a calculated but necessary risk. Alien monstrosities? Wanda's unchecked powers coupled with Banner's unhinged mind? Whatever you are planning, Mother, I fear it may be beyond even your control. Your concern touches me, but I would risk the heavens themselves if it meant saving you. I do not need saving. Oh, but you do. And that crack in your collar is the first step. Every revolution of self starts with the tiniest of rifts. An ever so slight splinter in the glass. A hanging thread begging to be pulled until it unravels all. You should be celebrating. That crack is the beginning of your emancipation from my sister's control. She keeps you collared because she fears you. They all do. Sarah wants to hold you back from realizing your full potential. The way she tried to hold me back centuries ago. I would not need this collar had I not been corrupted by your blood. Is that what you believe? <sighs> oh, child. There is so much you must learn. But... You would never believe me if I told you. Not here. Not now. You must discover those answers on your own. Once you're unshackled, you will finally be free to be yourself. And who is that? Answer me! Hunter, we have finished the symbiote sampling device. Come to the forge to have a look. Peter, what's wrong? Hey, can I ask a favor? Here you are, Hunter. One symbiote sampler. Hot off the old demonic presses. That is not what I expected. Yes, I for one am not going anywhere near that thing. You're a doctor. Don't tell me you're afraid of a little needle. That is most certainly not a needle. Well, you say tomato, I say one gamma-infused arc-powered laser tomato. Either way, we're good to go. Now we just have to get close enough to Venom to use it. And I suppose you have a plan for that, too. Actually, I don't. Been too busy wrangling our friendly Forge Demon while ignoring Strange's advice in order to build a one-of-a-kind gamma-powered symbiote extractor that burns hot enough to pierce the sun. But basically, we just need to stick the pointy end in him and let the device do the rest. Once we jab that thing, the symbiote will be extracted and stored within the chamber. The fluid inside should maintain the sample's molecular integrity indefinitely. I, uh, based it on the saliva he left on you during that last round. I see. 
And does Spider-Man, Peter, think it will actually work? I'm not sure. To be honest, I've kind of been keeping him out of the loop on this one. Look, Peter's a great kid. With a big heart. He looks at Venom, and he doesn't see the same mucus monster we do. All he sees is Eddie Brock. From what he's told me, the two of them weren't exactly best friends before the symbiote got thrown into the mix. But that doesn't matter to Peter. It's not going to be easy to get that sample. We'll have to get real close. I know Peter would give anything, including his own life, to save Eddie. Guess I just don't want to see him distracted when the time comes. Look what happened to me with Bruce. Right or wrong, what happened with Banner happened. You need to focus on the future. I am doing that, by trying to find a way to keep that thing from destroying you, not to mention Parker. Tony. I'm sorry, boss. Clearly, I'm still working through a few things. Guess my therapist can add another chapter to the book she will inevitably write about me. End of the day, we gotta find Venom first before any of this matters. Given his symbiote is happily sliming its way across the five burrows, it's going to be hard getting any kind of reading on him with conventional means, as in the non-demonically possessed kind. Thankfully, there's always Auntie Caretaker and her magic mirror. I'd check in with her. Talk to you soon, Hunter. How goes it, Hunter? Or is it the Hunter? So, how's the whole saving the world thing going? These should definitely give you an edge. I see Tony showed you his new toy. He did. He is so in love with his toys. I don't suppose he's given much thought as to who should get close enough to Venom to use it? Whoever does it would be putting their life at risk for me. That is a big commitment. I am not sure who would volunteer for it. You don't seem to have been paying attention. The Abbey is filled with people willing to put their lives on the line for a colleague. It's not about finding someone to do it. It's about deciding who is best to handle it. This won't be figured out right now, but we should decide something soon. Time is of the essence. But I suppose you know that better than anyone. We will talk again soon. How are you, Peter? You tell me, Hunter. I'm out of the loop on everything. They're off discussing what to do about Venom, and no one has said a word to me about it. Maybe they are trying to protect you, Peter. They see your youth and feel the need to shield you a bit. I've saved the city I don't know how many times. What do I have to do to prove myself? Grow a goatee like Strange? I do not think that is necessary. Good, because it would be way too itchy under the mask. I know it can be frustrating, but you should not waste time wallowing in it. I know, I should be doing something, because right now I feel kind of useless. Maybe I'll use the forge to bake a loaf of sourdough. Really get in Stark's way until he notices me. If you want Stark to pay attention to you, there are better ways to make your point than making bread. Well, I was kidding about that, but if you have suggestions... Just walk up to him and suggest a way to help. 
Okay, okay, you've made your point. Ah, <sighs> fine. Maybe I'll speak up. Excellent. Just give me a bit. I'm a little rusty. The Sinister Six caused me to miss out on my speech class final. I have something for you. An RSVP to my birthday? Uh, sorry. Never mind. You're cool. We're missing something, Hunter. And the frustrating thing is it's happening right in front of us. Where? The Sanctum is filthy with Hydra. Too many of them. It wouldn't take many guards to secure the building. So the question is, what else are they doing in there? Even without seeing what is going on in there, I know it is bad. Strange's Sanctum is too big of a prize for my mother to let it sit idle. I could spend too much time speculating about what's happening in there. We need evidence. And to get that, we need that sample from Venom. We have to get past that barrier. Our list of problems continues to grow longer. Well, we're not here for the easy stuff. as good as they ready for more we've got plenty of tricks for old dogs no excuses here Just give me a target. This will make a difference. We need any advantage we can get. Constant innovation. That's the stark promise. Been looking forward to upgrading that. I think we've got something for everyone. and Doctor Strange may think they're the epicenter of our operations, but we all know this is where the real magic happens. There's a Hydra unit nearby that seems to be using some sort of experimental equipment. Fortunately, Stark was able to home in on their signal. If we can... 
capture that agent, we might gain some insight into Hydra's plans. Our goals align. plans now's your chance take them into custody before they can regain their bearings excellent work I doubt Hydra will let you walk off with their agents so easily stay alert Need to take care of the rest of these thugs. Don't hold back. Not a problem. will be remembered.
some for the rest of us. Like you've got the agent in custody. Better clear out before Hydra sends a search party. I should have stayed up and watched a movie. Hunter? Ileana. What? Oh, sorry. I was off somewhere else, thinking about my brother. You have a brother? Yes, Piotr. He's older, very protective. He wanted to come here with me, but... No, this part of my life isn't for him. It is nice that he cares so much. You'd think so, but this is more about his guilt than my safety. Piotr blames himself for not protecting me in the past. Now he sees me as some fragile bird. That is not fair to you. You are one of the Midnight Suns, and a formidable one at that. He must see that you can protect yourself. You don't know, Piotr. To say he's immovable would be an understatement. Ugh, anyway. Thank you for talking. It is good to get out of my mind once in a while. I wanted to talk to you about book club. Oh? Having a good time? I'm having a great time. Always good to flex the old brain muscles. I need your advice, though. What kind of advice? It's about Blade. I get the feeling that all of book club is just his roundabout way of getting to be friends with me. I mean, I'm touched. <laughs> he seems like a good guy, but shy. So how do I tell him I'm totally cool with being best pals without scaring him off? 
Got any thoughts? Friendships form naturally, whether people say it out loud or not. I think if you keep showing up at book club, things will be fine. Good point. If I've learned anything from those books, it's that what's not said is so much more important than what's said. I wish I could be more helpful. Please, you've been more than helpful just listening to me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go catch up with my reading. I'm a couple of chapters behind. I can tell... Watch it. No spoilers. I gotta say, I'm loving our current book. Looks good to me. It's good to have you around again. much the entire Hydra offensive. No doubt stealing more of the priceless and did I mention extremely powerful artifacts housed within the Sanctum? I don't think so. They're fortifying a position here. You're right. We're never gonna get close enough to get a symbiote sample. Oh, I wouldn't say never. Venom problem? No problem. Wow. You got some serious range on that old Spidey Sense, kid. Or he got my text. Either way, I'm your guy. Come on, team. I got an idea. Anyone? Definitely should have practiced that more in the mirror. Sorry, kid. Can't risk a field trip on this one. Yeah, cause you all have so much experience fighting Venom. Spider-Man's cunning has proven to far exceed his years. In battle, not the talking. Don't see any of us muscling in when the Mandarin's in town. <laughs> okay, fine. I get it. What's the plan? Uh, Spider-Man? <laughs> <laughs> 